we are back to the Ashes of Outland to talk about the Paladin cards. So first off, we have Aldor Attendant. Two cost, two, three Paladin minion. Battlecry, reduce the cost of your Librams by one this game. So basically what Librams are, they're big, kind of biggish spells that are overpriced and then you can reduce the cost of them to make them more worth it, really. So first off, a two cost, two, three is not amazing, but the battle cry kind of to reduce the Librams is kind of, uh, really that's the important part of it. You're not playing this for that two, three stat, you're kind of playing it for that reducing the Librams. So, um, I'd say this is, I'll give it a five, put it right down the middle, because it's, it, it does what it probably needs to do. I don't necessarily see this seeing too much play, but it could see play. So let's move on to the next card. Uh, Aldor, Truth Seeker, five cost, four, six, taunt with battle cry, reduce the cost of your Librams by two this game. It's got taunt, so that's already a good upgrade, and 4-6 for 5 is, eh, it's iffy. It's kind of iffy, not not great. Cost. Um, I'd still put this at a 5 again. It does what it needs to do, reducing Librams even more, so that's good. Kind of just uh, getting kind of what needs to be done with those Librams. Uh, Imprisoned Sungill. One cost, two, one. Murloc, dormant for two turns. When this awakens, you summon two, one, one Murlocs. So, um, probably one of the weakest, uh, dormant cards that awaken. Because awakening and summoning two, one, one Murlocs on turn... Technically ends up being on turn three if you get this on turn one. Uh, it actually isn't that great. Um, Murloc isn't very popular right now with Paladin either. Uh, that because of the rotation, I think it's kind of rotating out. I think it's what's going to happen. So um, I don't think this is necessarily going to see play. It's also kind of not great. I'll give it a three. It's not very good. So, 3 out of 10 for the Imprisoned Sun Gill. Uh, Libram of Hope. 9 cost spell. Re restore 8 health. Summon an 8 8 Guardian with Taunt and Divine Shield. And you can, of course, reduce this to be cheaper and more worth your time. So, this can actually be a very good card. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Just really good. Um, honestly, I'd give this 7. 7 out of 10. Very, very strong. I could see the scene play. Which is kind of why I, I could kind of see the other Libram ones. Uh, kind of see him play. Maybe only the reducing by 2 one. Maybe not the 2 3. Maybe just the other one. But otherwise, really good. 7 out of 10. Uh, Libram of Wisdom. This is a nice cheap one. Uh, 2 cost. Give a minion plus one one and death rattle add a Libram of Wisdom to your hand. So this is just infinitely, basically if you have this, you reduced it to zero. You're always going to be able to give any minion you feel like plus one plus one. It's like the Explorer's Hat, except you can make it cheaper, which is really strong. So uh, this card I'm giving like a nine because it's ridiculously good. Nine out of ten. Absolutely incredible. I see the scene play for sure. Even if you just one run one reduce to Librams. Uh Librum of Justice. Uh six cost spell, equip a one four weapon and change the health of all enemy minions to one. So this can be a very cheap, strong card. Very cheap. It could be a strong uh cheaper equality if need be. So I will say this is a very good card. This is another one that I would give uh, a good rating to. I will give this a 7 as well. I think the Librams actually have a very good chance. It's just some of the Libram reducing cards are not great. 
It's just that reducing two one is okay. The two three one that only reduces it by one isn't that great. And I don't know if that's necessarily going to be in there. It might still be in there just because it helps the Librams and the Librams are so good. So, uh, hand of a doll. Two cost spell. Give a minion plus two two. Draw a card. Short, simple, pretty good. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it a six. I think it's strong, good for its cost, and useful. Uh, Underlight angling rod. Three cost. Three two weapon. After your hero attacks, add a random murloc to your hand. Again, um, not really. We aren't really excited about Murloc stuff too much with Paladin, because there really isn't much on that anymore. Um, I will say, though, it's much better than the Fiery War Axe, just if you want... I mean, you could just play this one purely for the value otherwise, because it's a 3-2 weapon, which is the same as Fiery War Axe, and after you attack each time, you just get a random... Murloc, which is a minion, so that's already more than what Fiery War Axe does. So I will give this a... I'll give it a 5. I'll put it down the middle. Because Fiery War Axe, I wouldn't even put that high right now because of that nerf. It's not that great. So I would say this is this could be worth it. Maybe just play it if you need something in there for maybe some type of value and you need some decent weapon or something. Uh, Lady Leandrins, the a Paladin Legendary, 7 cost, 4, 6. Battlecry, add a copy of each spell you cast on friendly target, friendly characters this game, to your hand. So add a copy of each spell you cast on friendly characters this game to your hand. So you're just adding a bunch of spells to your hand. Okay, okay. Um, That's pretty good. Especially if you're doing some type of of a paladin buff deck but really i don't see too much of that right now so i mean this is this is good i could see it more in wild than in standard right now but uh it's it's okay for standard it's not amazing because i don't think too many people are gonna get behind this and it's not gonna be terribly relevant for uh, what it does so i will give it a five i'll put it down the middle again because it could be good. I I I see it being not amazing, but it could be could be okay. So uh, I'll put the, I'll give it a five. And uh, mer mer oh boy merger mergurgle. A okay, two cost two one divine shield paladin legendary divine shield death rattle shove and shuffle. McGurgle Prime into your deck. A McGurgle Prime, a Paladin Legendary, again, is an 8 cost 6 3 Murloc with Divine Shield. Battle Cry summon 4 random Murlocs, give them Divine Shield. See, I see this, um, they're trying to go for like a Paladin Murloc direction, but uh, this is too slow to be in like a Paladin Murloc, honestly. It's good. It's good value, but it won't go in like a Murloc Paladin or anything. It might go into like a Highlander Paladin, I think, with uh, Sir Finley of the Sands and stuff like that. Sir Finley of the Sands, uh, Alex Straza, Reno. No, Reno doesn't work because that's wild. Reno's wild. Yeah, uh, the genie. Yeah, I could see this in maybe more of like a Highlander deck instead of like a Murloc deck. This would be great. F it's just too slow for a Murloc deck. Because, yeah, you got this big value card in your hand or in your uh, deck, but uh, you're focused on finishing. You're focused on trying to finish your opponent quickly with the Murloc deck. So, really, this just doesn't work. It's counterintuitive. It's kind of just doesn't work. So, uh, it is still good, so I will give it a 6, but I don't think it's going to be in a Murloc deck. It's going to be in some type of Highlander deck. And then I'll finish off all of the Paladin cards. Uh, next time, I shall talk about the Mage cards for the Ashes of Outland. See you then.